Good evening, everybody. It is almost 6.15 in the evening on Wednesday, July 10th. Boy, July is just kind of rolling along pretty quickly, isn't it? And, uh, you know, just yesterday felt like it was the beginning of July when it was actually a week ago. And uh, it's nice to see that things are moving along. At least I hope it is for you just as it is for me. Tonight, what are we going to talk about tonight? Well, I wasn't planning on uploading another video until I got the Allo Audio headphones in. They have been processed through the customs office in uh, New York, I think. And I haven't received an update from USPS as to its tracking since July 6th. So one of two things, either USPS lost my package, which tends to happen with USPS quite often, or it hasn't been scanned since it left customs and it will not be scanned until it is actually delivered to me whenever that happens to be. But, 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 but today, I think it, it was a subscriber, but if it wasn't a subscriber, hey man, I'm doing this for you. Maybe you'll think about subscribing. It'd be great if you did. A subscriber asked the following question. Can you please post a video on setup recommendations for different budgets? Let's say $1,000 or $500 budget for a desk setup for a headphone and amp. And the answer to that is yes, of course. I'm happy to do that, happy to help in any way I can. But if you are a regular of this channel, you know by now that there is no such thing as a concise answer from me. It is instead a much more in-depth answer because once again that's not what this channel is really about it's not the not the give it to you and then move on and never readdress the issue again type of channel it's let's try to be thorough so there's this old saying give a man a fish and he will eat for a day but give him a submachine gun and drop him into the wilderness of alaska and he will feed himself for the rest of his life so i am going to give you the proverbial submachine gun as you drop into the wilderness of alaska so that you can survive the idea isn't that i provide you with all the possible permutations of amps and dax because that is never going to be possible for me there are so many options out there for amps and dax and combos and from different manufacturers with different chipsets from different amp modules from different dac modules different op amps from portable to desktop and then somewhere in between it's it's impossible like i said instead what we are going to do is a step-by-step -step process of determining what would work best for you in your particular circumstance and then i will make my recommendations as we go along based upon the equipment that i have so i am not going to recommend something that i don't personally have or in the alternative i personally do have not done uh, significant research on so if you ask me what does the uh, Jotunheim sound like and would the Jotunheim be a good setup? My answer would be, well, whatever the answer is, because I do in fact have the Jotunheim. But if you ask me, well, how much uh, a difference would a Jotunheim be from, I don't know, um, uh, what what other DAX do I not have? Okay, so a mass drop Cavelli tube hybrid. What's the, would a Cavelli tube hybrid be a good alternative? The answer is, well, I don't know because I don't have a Cavalli tube hybrid and I can't tell you how the, the sound would be different, but because I have done significant research on the Cavalli before I decided not to buy it, I can at least give you an educated opinion about how it would be used if you wanted to use it in a setup. So that type of thing. So let's just get it started. What are we gonna do today? This is only the introduction. The following videos after this are going to focus much more precisely on each particular item that I have, how I have personally set it up, and how you could theoretically set it up in the future. Because I want you to have the tools at your disposal to make this determination at home and make it wisely. Because my opinion is just that, only an opinion. What I recommend is merely an opinion about what sounds good or is convenient to me. It may not be for you. And I want to avoid any misunderstanding between us. 
I don't want it to seem as if I'm telling you to buy something and I'm giving you giving it the rubber stamp of approval because I'm not that type of reviewer. And we can name several reviewers who do the do what I am not going to do. They shall go unnamed. So today, what do you want? Do you want portability or do you want desktop power? Because that is a significant question. If you want portability, then you will have to sacrifice on power. You will have to do it because, first of all, and, and most obvious, the battery. The battery is going to drain within a couple of hours, depending on which unit, which device you use and how frequently you use it. Second, not only the power, but also the features available to either the portable or the desktop. Now, there are some portable units that have a lot more features than a desktop amplifier or DAC. And that might be a swing in their favor for you. Number two, after you've decided what do you prefer, portable or desktop, what is your budget? What do you want to spend? Because if you tell me that I only have $200 to spend, then that limits us considerably. And we have to figure out a way to get you a reasonably good sounding setup within that budget. Now, sometimes we'll fall below the budget. Sometimes we will have to go over the budget because we are not going to compromise too much on sound quality. If $50 is going to make a difference between a good amp and amp, amp and DAC combo combination, combo combination, then spend the extra 50 bucks. If you're going to get better build quality, spend the extra money within a reasonable amount, obviously. But if we're just talking about nitpicky little things, then get the cheaper version. So let's start putting down the price, okay? I think it's reasonable to start at $250. So let's put down 250. Then I think it is also reasonable to put down $500. So let's do that. I also think it is reasonable to put down $750. Then there is the $1,000 realm. But I think in order to do $1,000, we actually have to go over to about $1,100 because <clears throat> there are some very good amplifiers and DACs that or around the $1,100 range. So let's start at $1,100 instead of $1,000 even. And if we fall short of $1,100, that's fantastic. Oops. Gosh, I can't type. You see, my keyboard is dying of battery, so it won't light up. And now I'm working in the dark. Anything above that, ooh, what could be above that? Well, then we're going to go up to $2,000 plus. This is our pricing scheme, 250, 500, 750, 1100, and 2000 and over. Then on this side here, I have amp, DAC, and combo. Now, this is just a work in progress, this, this, this Google Sheet, because it's not formatted the way I really want. I want to make it as convenient as possible for everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about amps, standalone amps that are portable, standalone amps that are desktop. Then we're going to talk about DACs that are portable and desktop. Then we're going to talk about combo portable and desktop. And combo typically, in my experience, <clears throat> excuse me, typically in my experience, will either include a digital audio player, because those do tend to have, you know, some of the higher priced and more recent and state of the art and the leading edge DACs and amp chipsets. But that's not the only thing we're going to look at. We're also going to look at standalone play, not players, but amp DAC uh, combos that are pocketable. Then on this headphone side, what this really is going to stand for is what is the drivability of those particular units? Now, there are some DACs that indeed have a built-in amplifier. They're not great compared to, say, a dedicated MIDI amplifier, but they will get the job done, like the RME ADI-2 DAC. It's got a good, clean amp. 
But it's really a DAC, to be honest. That's what it's being marketed for, and I think that's what it really should be used for. But if if you really want the, the DAC and you, you think you'll be happy with the amp, that would be a great combo. And we would need to know for that specific DAC, how much can it drive? What's the highest resistance headphone it can drive? Because that's all really relevant to you. So this is the type of stuff that we're going to start looking at. And I know this isn't a great video. This doesn't give you anything to focus on and comment about. But this is a start because this is going to be kind of like a tutorial as I have learned myself. Now, what I'm about to tell you from these videos on for the next, I don't know, five, six videos, however long this takes, is just from my personal experience. There might be a much better way of going about doing this. There might be much more knowledgeable people, and undoubtedly there are. Hi, Shay. Shay is here to get a pet. And there will be differing opinions about what I recommend eventually. But the process to get there, that's what we all have to achieve. So that's what we're going to do, the process to get there. Now, just to kind of give you an idea of where we're going, a portable DAC. What could be a portable DAC, do you think? Well, I would submit to you that it is the iFi XDSD. That is a fantastic portable DAC. Now, what if you don't have, you don't really want the XDSD because it does have a combo, and I will put that down under XDSD, DSD, portable combo. What about if you want a, a, an amp, a portable amp, what could you do? Well, then there's also the iFi X-Can, which is a fantastic amplifier, portable amplifier. But more than that, there's another one. There's the X-Duo. Ooh, only two O's, not three. Okay. And there could be, under a combo, another combo would be a Fio Q5. But what about desktop? What are we looking at a desktop? Well, a desktop, we could have, say, oh, I don't know. How about the monolith? Well, it should go under the combo. The mono price, no, Mastrop is what I mean to say. I keep getting those two companies messed up. Mastrop 789. Eh? How about just the DAC? Well, you know, you got plenty of Mastrop DACs you can look at. And there's also standalone DACs that you can look at, say, oh, I don't know, the SMSL or even the Cambridge Audio. What about combos? What about combos? What, there's the RME ADI 2. There is also the um, Monolith. Right? So this is kind of gets us an idea. Now, this looks incredibly confusing. And now that I've typed all this stuff in, I can see a lot of faults. And I'm going to have to refigure this so that it actually works properly, so that it makes sense to you and, more importantly, makes sense to me. Because if it doesn't make any sense to me, I, I won't be able to explain it. So this is how we're going to go down the line. And we're going to talk about a little bit about each of these items how you can use them, and then we're going to figure out a way to combine these things. Because I tell you what, you can, in fact, use an iFi XDSD and combine it with, oh, I don't know, a Mastrop 789. You could use an iFi Black Label, Micro Black Label, and use that as your desktop DAC. And you can combine it with the Monolith or the Mastrop or the RME. Or you could combine it with the Audio GD or any other amplifier that you could possibly think of. And now you have choices to play with. You have ideas of how you want to make this work. For who? For you. Not for me, not for somebody else, but for you. So the process is going to start. This is how we're going to begin. And apparently, Shay has an objection to that. This is how we're going to begin. I hope that this is going to be a helpful series. It's going to happen over the course of several several days at least and over several videos. If you have any suggestions, any comments, anything in particular that you want me to put into these upcoming videos, let me know. If you have any 
ideas of how we can make this much more interactive or we could make this much more helpful to everybody, let me know. Leave a comment down below. As I said always, I am always open to discussion, to formatting, and to making these things as helpful, as user-friendly, and frankly, as kind of easy and laid back as possible. I hope you all have a wonderful night. The next video that is uploaded is going to have a reconfigured guide, and we're going to start off with one of the units. Well, an amp and a DAC. We'll see which ones. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I hope that you have a great end of your work week.